Here's the thing. I experiment with a lot of clays, mineral paints, firing methods, and that results in a lot of ugly pottery. Uh, experimental pottery. Pottery that I really didn't do 100% at making in the first place because I was just testing out some new clay or some new process. So I end up having a whole bunch of pottery laying around that eh, I'm kind of emotionally attached to, like I don't want to get rid of it because I spent a lot of time making it or it was an important milestone in my career as a potter or something like that. But I moved recently and I'm going through stuff that was in my storage shed and there's a lot of junk in there and, and I just can't keep this stuff forever. So I've got a new idea about how I can have some fun and get rid of some of this old junky pottery I have laying around. So I call this the Great Pottery Throwdown. Arizona style. Check this out. And I've got a couple of others down here that we can throw down. Can we have you now? Or? Yeah, hand me, hand me the like, large pot for sure. For the canteen. Test drop. Two That one is really crappy. That one was made when I was, geez, before I was married, for sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that's Charleston clay. Really lovely. Uh, older than me pot. Oh, way older, yeah. Woo! Nice! Woo! Gone. That's a lot of sherds right there. It's like some archaeologist dream come true. You should just scatter those someplace and drive somebody crazy. The advantage to all this is that all this broken pottery can now be stored in a small box and used to make temper for my clay. So actually ground up pottery sherds is one of the best tempers because it's already been fired, it's relatively inert in a firing. Uh, so it'll all go back to use and be recycled in my pottery. And uh, 
saves me a box that I have to store. And we had a little fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Well, good. Test drop three of four. No, no! Man, somehow gratifying. Canteen, test drop four of four. Ah, man. Look at all those shirts. It looks like an archaeological site.